we're live. Oh. I am going to go here onto my Facebook. Okay, we have three people. We go to. Oh, I can comment. That's right, because I'm the leader. Woo. Mm -hmm. Um. Hello. Like I'm brand new at this. Did you know uh -huh. that there was another one of you? What do you mean? I don't think so, homie. If you're watching, I'm sorry, but I don't think so, homie. Don't feel bad. There's so many Rowans. What does that even mean, Rowan? Rowan of the woods. What is that? Because uh, Rowan is a tree and... I'm a uh, forest full of rowans. I don't know. Nice explanation. All right. I made it up when I was 14. What do you expect? Oh, well. I oh, that's you're trying to work for me on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I am sharing it now. Hi, everybody. How are you? Who's on here? Okay. Ghosty McGhostface. I love that. Night. Best name of the night so far. I love that. I will, I, at some point in this video, or I might do a private video, I might do something, never mind. I'm gonna leave it out of this, but I, I gotta address something later. This makes me angry. Are you okay? No, I'm pissed. Uh-oh, well. Well, it's just, it's, it's, it's something so silly that I was trying to ignore it, and it's, I got another message today, and it's just like, I'm gonna have to address it, so. Okay. I just, um, I know, right? Can we, uh, yes, Irish, can we just say how much have we missed the April? Come on, everybody. Where has April been? See, Rowan has been on some lives with me since you've been gone. Okay, so I'll tell you what's going on. <laughs> I am no longer in management. Really? I Yep, I stepped down out of my position, so I've been adjusting to that because I had a meltdown again. So I had to make some rough, rough, rough decisions, and I, that was the decision. And I've, I'm feeling better. I'm two weeks in now of not having to manage, but still kind of filtering things to other people. And the person that was taking over for me fully understands now why I was overwhelmed. Um, so I, I had to go through some changes. And then um, there's been some other things, but they're not big things, but they're things that affect me inside the house. And it's not that it's like my kid got, my, got a girlfriend like that, like that affected me. Because it does. It does. It, don't, don't take it away from yourself because it does. It, when it, I it, grow, it, it affects us. It's, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't bother me in a negative way. It bothers me in a him not my baby no more way. Exactly. Exactly. Wait, which one got a girlfriend? Adrian. I don't mean to make that face. That's not a, that's not to <laughs> make that face. I mean, she was the made that face. <laughs> I'm just, I hate to live with me forever. That's he's cheating on me? Yes, he's cheating on you. He is hardcore cheating on you, and I'm mad about it. Oh, wow. Hardcore. And and, yeah. and I she's like the nicest person, which ugh, shouldn't bother me, but it really does. So oh, I'm just kidding. she's so they grow up, but yes, April's back, and she's 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 dealing with with the stuff the best that any mother can. Management is hard. Yeah. I've been yeah. for over twenty years, and I just can't tell you how many times that I'm just like I'm done, I quit, but then I go back. Yeah. Well, it's, okay. The kicker to the management position that I'm in is that in certain stores, it doesn't benefit you monetarily to be a manager because you make less than everybody around you. And then you, but you have to deal with all their crap and stress and complaints and life altering events. Like it's just one thing after another. So you're sitting there and you're like, well, y'all are making hundreds of dollars a week more than me and y'all ain't stressed. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, that's something my husband says, because I'm always pushing him because there's only one person <laughs> higher than him at work. 
And that's what he says. Like that person doesn't make what he makes, not having to deal with what he deals with. He makes more money than his boss does when it comes to like overtime and stuff like that, that he gets and that he doesn't get. So it's so, yeah. it's so weird. It even hits harder when it becomes salary. Mm, yeah. I will never. No, ma'am. No, sir. No, thank you. No, nope, nope, nope. Mm -mm. As I watched Alan do that and it ruined Alan. Gave him ulcers. <laughs> Can't do it. I'm sorry. I'm just a worker bee. I don't. I don't want to be in management anymore. I just want to work. I want to do my job. I want to mind my business. And I want to go home. There you go. Mm. There you go. Do my eight hours and get the fuck out of there. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stay in the management position with my salary and and be as happy as I already am. You. Your <laughs> job. That is totally different. Like I have to wrestle, get cussed at, get fussed at. Get hounded by upper management, which she's really nice, but she does have to help me because that's her job, you know. And then deal with like nitpicky customers that are self entitled and don't understand what wait your turn is. Yeah, yeah I don't know that. I had to argue with people today for lunch because apparently we're not, they were knocking on the door and I was kind enough to still go to the door and be like, we're at lunch. They're like, well, other offices are open. And I'm just like, well, we're not. Well, why don't you go to another office? Right. Yeah, it just, it gets, it just, as I've gotten older, I've gotten more where I don't really care what they, but before I used to argue with them and mm -hmm. now I'm just like, yeah. yeah. Okay, good. We're good. Yeah, I understand. Okay. And that's not what Cauldron Conspiracies is about tonight. We were just updating. We haven't talked, so. <laughs> yeah. We haven't talked in a while, so. It's not on my channel this week. You're leading, friend. Oh. And the Rowan forgot that it was Thursday, so. Well, it's hard to, it's easy to do that, to be honest. Um, I'm cutting another thing off. So, we want to talk, and I put that stupid thing away. I was up here ranting and raving. All right, did you look up and find the name of this thingy? That I, that, it doesn't have an actual, like, name. I couldn't find it, but I know there's a name. But it's just, like, on the tip. Yeah, I can... Because I keep referring back to that movie, too. Because I'm like, that's what kind of jogged my memory about it. It was on TV the other day. Because he, like, folded the bill and the bill did something. Something weird. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, what we're talking about is the... Oh, Lord, I always forget where my camera is. This thing. Right here. Right here. Right here. There we go. I'm going to keep Googling. So. I wonder if one of my kids know. I want to know what that saying says, too. If we have somebody that can translate that. It is, I'm not going to butcher it. But it's about, okay, so everybody always, and I think there was something with this piece too, but I'm sorry, but I don't know. Um, I was listening to something and that, that triggered a thing and I was trying to think of it. And then it, it, it's one of those things where it's kind of like in God we trust. Like you're expected to believe in this. Irish asked, is it the Twin Towers? No, I've seen that done too, but I thought that was a five dollar bill or a twenty dollar bill. No, but that's creepy too. The Great Seal. Maybe I'm trying to see how am I can comment because I wanted to say hi. Hi, Mystical Love and Light. I, I'm trying. I don't know how to be on this side of the, the computer. <laughs> uh, pull it up on your phone. It's really I, I have it up on my phone, but I can't see where I can comment. Oh, I don't know. I don't know too. I don't know too. Oh well. I don't know. But it's about okay, so everybody wraps the Illuminati. It goes like I don't know if that's a new thing in the last like 10 years or so that the Illuminati keeps being pulled into whatever yeah. the heck this thing means. But it's like a pyramid, which is clearly I'm gonna say Egyptian on American money with the eye of Horus, sometimes as the eye of Horus. Symbol? All seeing, I have God, I have Horus. Yeah. There's, yeah. there's a certain way that you can fold the bill and it turns it into um, the Twin Towers. There's a there's you a know little what that, that pyramid thing is called on the dollar bill on the back. Does it have a name with the eyeball on it? You don't. The the reverse side displays a pyramid, a symbol of duration and, and everlasting life, with thirteen steps for their. The original 13 colonies. The pyramid is, a, is purposely unfinished, capped with the eye of providence, and the words annuit coeptus 
It provenance looks favorably on our undertakings. Below it, a scroll reads Novus Ordo Seclorum, announcing a new order of the ages. The oh, eye and the pyramid yeah. have Masonic overtones what? and a, a strong connection between Freemasonry. <laughs> um, April's face when she looked. I'm sorry. I have an eye appointment tomorrow. <laughs> it was just like, she's like, wow. <laughs> she was impressed. <laughs> Never been this close to that. Well, it does say at the bottom of that little pyramid, the great seal. No, see? No. Oh, uh, Sunshine said it's eye of providence. Eye of providence? What does mm -hmm. that mean? That's what yeah. Was. I knew it coeptus it providence. But there's something written at the bottom of the pyramid. Has anybody ever noticed that? Novus Ordo Seclorum. Nope, not that. It's at the bottom brick level of the pyramid. M U C C L X X Y one V one. M U C sounds like like the what do you call it? Um. Oh, it's not gonna put the magnifying glass in front of it. <laughs> No, no, and like I, I, I don't have, I never have cash on me. I'll, I don't, I do all plastic now. All right, I need somebody in the audience of thirty-eight people to get a magnifying glass and look at the bottom of the pyramid. I think I have a dollar bill. I know I have a hundred dollar bill. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm just gonna go back to eating my nuts. So you don't have any theories about this, nut woman? Why are you blurry tonight, or is that me? Native pagan said that that is the year. Year. Sammy and Chuck said, uh, "Where to go? Oh my God! It means in God we trust all others pay cash." Oh, oh my God! I'm reading it. She said, "LOL." <laughs> okay. I was like, "That's rude." You got me. You got me. <laughs> Look up secrets. Then uh, three three one Christina said, "Look up secrets when folding the dollar bill." Try it. Tri <laughs> well, first of all, Sunshine's calling you out. Said you need your glasses on too. And secondly, somebody. <laughs> I do. Ha I do need a monocle, but I'm gonna have bifocals probably tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Lady Pagan said that's a year. Is that how long it takes to fill a year? What year? What year? How do I know what year? But why is that year so special? Right? Said those are numbers. Yeah, they're Roman numerals. Are they? Well, I don't know math. I'm a dollar. I'm gonna say my husband has a dollar. Go get a dollar. The only people in my house that have a dollar is my spirit, so I'm robbing one of their. Well, I have my money also here, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be allowed to take one off. Well, I'm, I'm taking mine. I'm gonna put it back though. So there's a lot of detail. Like, why is this a spider web? Anyway, that's what I thought was interesting. My old lady. Okay, just to let you know, I'm a little lady. This. This. I mean, Roman numeral 1776. Oh, the country was freaking founded? Yeah. Lame. All right. Okay. <laughs> Irish said that 05 bills have numbers and shapes of grass on the back. Native pagan says it's the Roman numeral for the year 1776. The founding of the nation. We have a fact checker in the audience. Can somebody fact check that? I have 2013. Um, I 2017. What are you looking at? Dollar bills? 2009. All right, I have a five dollar bill. What was on the five dollar bill? 2013. 2017. Anyway, that was the only conspiracy I could think of because I've kind of been out of the, the loop. What is the conspiracy part of it? I don't know. I can't remember. I fell asleep. <laughs> why is everybody looking up money? Well, why is the Egyptian stuff on American money? Because <laughs> we steal everything. No, oh, well, hello, right there. <laughs> what did you say? Here it is. <laughs> oh, I want to talk about my ancestry results too. Oh, okay. Really? Are yeah. you my cousin? I might be. Yeah. 
interesting. Probably. You know, even with my glasses on, I cannot see what is on this dollar. Okay. All right. Well, I don't know how to do the folding technique to get the Twin Towers. And I always found that really creepy. Like, who figured that out? You know? Okay. Mystical Love and Light said conspiracy is everything on there represents something satanic. Why is that bad? Uh, and Sunshine Morning Ray said, fact checker here, it's a fact. It's a fact. It's a fact, then. Which part's a fact? Everything, all of the things, none of the things. Because I still don't know what the hell we're talking about. <laughs> I can't find the thing. I didn't have time to look it up. But if anybody in the freaking comments knows what I'm talking about, then you'll know. You'll know. So I am reading stuff in caps. So if there's something in caps that you want us to to get into, that's what I'm I'm looking. I don't have control. I'm putting questions on the screen because my, yeah. my thing is why would they want to include all those secrets on a one dollar bill? Yeah, it's the lowest denomination. Like I get maybe not a hundred dollar bill, but like the five. I mean, I know that that eyeball is always creeping me out. I hate it. Well, and like, why did why would okay? I understand we steal everything, but I feel like there had to be a reason to put that specific seal or that specific graphic on our paper money. Just like the eagle represents freedom and America, blah blah blah. I get why that's on there. That makes sense to me. Oh, I found some more. Says because they're the seat of civilization. And then um, Julie B said, those are Freemason symbols. And then Mystical Love and Light said, he, he, he. I'm reading all the caps. I want, I don't, I've had people in the Masons. And oh, Julie B said, all seeing eye. Hmm. Yes, ma'am, Miss Trina. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got a message that looks like it's the money. I just found money that I didn't know I had. And is that is it, you didn't know you had a hundred and something dollars? <laughs> yeah. Oh, so I just got sent this from Cindy. Ingram. Okay. I'm going to have to mute this. Are they already out of the car? Yeah. I'm going to mute this because um, our food's getting delivered and the dog's going to bark. But I'm going to show this to you while I'm muted, okay? Okay. Uh -huh. Can I not mute me? I'm not in control. Oh, do I have to be? Oh, yeah, I have to mute. Mm. It's hard for a Capricorn not to be in control. There you go. It's muted. Can't hear you. World Monarch Crown Council of 13. Ooh, spooky. Uh, Committee of 300. World something most powerful. Some oh, I can't read. My eyes are so bad. Rowan, put young eyes on it. What does it say? What are we looking at? That thing that she's showing us. Um, world. Mm, where am I? World. Right? World monarch. Crown council of thirteen. Worlds. Worlds. Okay, I'm glad I'm not the only one struggling. World. Worlds. Worlds. Uh, richest, most powerful. Cool. Follow families. But something families, yeah. Committee of 300 world's richest, most powerful. The Rockefellers, the Rosenbaums, the what's them the faces, and what's them rock. What was it? Rock towards Rockefellers. Rockefeller, yeah. Wasn't that like a big place? Rockefeller Stadium. Rockefeller Center. It's where the ice skate was on in New York, isn't it? Yeah, Rockefeller. Anywho. The Manhattan Project. Uh, oh yeah, sorry there. Okay, I just sent you the rest of the stuff so you can see it. Okay. Very exciting. Where did you send it to me? On the um, messenger. Oh, I have that cut off. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. We can't, we can't things if you don't have things. I, I have them. Dinged all day. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, okay, you can see that. Okay. Bottom. Okay, it's still. It's a conspiracy that you can't see it. Okay, whatever. That needs to go in the show notes. 
Did you find the one that you were thinking about the other day about the skinwalkers? Um, I did not look for the TikTok because I was very, very busy, but I think we should get into that. Mm -hmm. Anyone <laughs> watch Salty Cracker? Oh, Gerald um, <coughs> Calente. Do you see it? You have control of whose information goes up on the screen. Oh, yeah. Salty Cracker, Gerald Salente, Marfugal. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta mute me now. It says get on Telegram and I can send you a thread. What is uh what is Telegram? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I guess we're moving on from that. We will do some more research. Dig deeper into that because yeah. Oh, yeah, it was a, a few hours ago, and then, um, let's see, Trina says, and it's not in caps, by the way, so the back design wasn't even created until 1953, so who created it? Hmm, why did they pick those images? Hmm, maybe find designer and get some answers. I need to watch National Treasure again. Yeah, that's a great idea. So we were talking because I don't necessarily think know that we would call them skinwalkers or shapeshifters, honestly, or even aliens. You know what I mean? And I mean, at the end of the day, they could all be the same thing. And two of them are the same and one isn't. Like, who knows, right? Yeah. But when this started going around, I got very intrigued because I've always been drawn to like those large cactuses and stuff. Like, I love cactus. Like, I'm obsessed with cactus. I've always loved cactus. And I've always wanted to have those big ones, right? But they're hundreds of years old, so, like, I can't just go dig one up and put it in my yard. I'll get in trouble. But, like, I would swear going through the deserts and driving and stuff that I would see them move. I always thought I would see them move. So when I saw this, I was very interested because even out here, we've seen trees that look like they relocated themselves. Right? Like in the forest or in your yard? Well, in the land next to me that I want to buy, right here outside my, it's like half an acre away from my um, kitchen window. Oh. And that's where we would see it. And that's the window that had the handprints on it from outside. So what they're saying is, and one of the videos that was going around is, and who knows if that video is true, but it could be inspired from something else. But it showed some really big trees like floating in the wind. And then they saw this tree get up and walk over and plant itself down again and start going with the wind, right? And huge trees, huge, massive trees. Now, like I said, the video could be fake. I mean, it probably is, but it may have came from something. So now the thing is, is are they now taking shape of things that are not living? Not, well, not necessarily living like humans, okay? Because plants are living. I mean... Considering there's so much media around what they possibly look like and reported sightings that could be real sightings, I mean, they probably would jump to something different if they want to keep up what they're doing to be hidden, but still keep an eye on us. The bigger question is, like, what's the purpose? Like, what, what are you going to do as a tree? Like, are you, are you, I mean, because, you know, it's like they experiment with people. But like what? Like I don't know. That creeps me out. Yeah, but the thing is, is it's not going to be a new thing because it's something that I have witnessed my whole life, but just thought it was a trick of the eye or possibly spirits outside. Well, this, this, yeah. earth elementals, but that I guess that could fall under the same cat because you know you don't know. You know what I mean? Like someone just gave the skinwalkers a name and gave shapeshifters a name and. Elementals, they could all be just earth elementals. So, earth spirits, yeah. earth. I bit my tongue the other day and I have a huge knot on the end of it. So, now I have a weird lift. So, <laughs> it hurts. So, that's Skin Walker. Let's see. Uh, my mom taught me about them. She was raised on reservations. Their folklore is crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I'm thinking that skinwalkers are one thing and that may be more based towards like um, Native Americans. And like shapeshifters and, and that sort of thing is like not the same. Have you seen the rocks that themselves? And science is just like, what? 
I haven't seen that, but that intrigues me. That's something that we need to look into. I have seen turtles and other animals that have over time developed as a hiding technique, kind of like that squid or octopus that can turn, look like a shell and hide mm -hmm. itself. You know, I, that could be something that genetic, it's like mutating over time. Now, is that real? I don't know. Or is that what's going on? I don't know. So there's, okay, so one person is saying that a uh, cactus can move, yeah, when they're full of spiders. And then um, Trina said that the, uh, I don't even want to try to pronounce that and mess it up, but a cactus do move that she grew up with them. If uh, Saguaro. Yeah. I mean, but what I would see is them actually moving, not like, you know what I mean? Like Yeah, like they get up and relocate. Yeah, like when we drove to Mexico, we went through that type of desert going there. Like I wasn't driving, I was looking and I would see them relocate. Like, and I would be like, hmm, okay. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. I've seen things, you know how you drive, okay, we drive the same way to work every day and you notice things. Yeah. And then you notice things that are not there anymore, but then like the next day they're back where they were. You know what I mean? I've noticed stuff like that. But you know, at the time when you're jamming or listening to a book, you don't really think about it. You're just like, oh, that's different. But it's in the link of the video I posted a few minutes ago. Sorry, my kids are trying to get to here. I should have fell asleep. You're making me yawn. Sorry. Yeah, so see that when it comes to the shape shifters, they say that you're not supposed to. So, like, if you see one outside, you're supposed to call it like a not dog. Not, you're not even supposed to say the word skinwalker because they're saying that you're bringing that attention to you, and then they're like drawn to you in that way. And that's why I feel like shape shifters and skinwalkers are not the same thing. Yeah, just my opinion. I mean, shape shifters have been their own thing for a lot, like. For me, at least, I don't. This is not a new concept for a lot of people. Skinwalkers just came into my field of vision, like maybe five or six years ago. But like shapeshifters, you've heard uh, since the dawn of horror movies, you've heard about shapeshifters, yeah. which makes you think. Well, they had to come up with that from somewhere. There's some folklore out there, and I know there are some other Native American traditions that kind of play off that. It's not necessarily a skinwalker. <laughs> But like a transformational kind of experience, which is not exactly the same thing as like a true shape shifter, but they're very closely related. So that could be it also. I was, I was texting Trina and she says, when do we get to talk about the hat man? And I said, when you come on with us, it's you can right. come on, you can not, you don't have to show your face sunshine. Like, She'll put the link because I have no control and it's driving me absolutely mad. But she could put the link in, in the comments over there and then you could click on there and have your, your your camera off and come and talk with everybody and tell us about the hat man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I am trying to copy the freaking link. Exactly. Ashley Cole said just because it can change its voice and face doesn't mean it's a skinwalker. And I agree with that. Right. I really don't think like the things that we come across out here are necessarily um, skinwalkers. I think that they're, you know, shapeshifters. Because whenever you hear about the term skinwalker, you always think about something that's malevolent. Who's to mm -hmm. say that there's not shapeshifters out here that are bad, but also there might be some good shapeshifters. But whenever you hear the term skinwalker, you always think. Yes, I bad. agree. With, I, I agree with Ashley Cole in this situation. That's my opinion, but our opinions, you know, are our own. There's so much that we don't know about. Okay, Trina, you can't send me the things. You have to come on here and talk to us about the things. <laughs> um, you have to come. She send me the thing. Okay, so who is the Batman? The nightmare shared by dreamers across the world. Oh, okay. So it's, if I'm correct. You can mess with it. It's very hard. Sorry. Um, <laughs> it's kind of, and all of us have dealt with this, or at least I know me and you have talked about it, April. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to say Roland because I haven't heard it from him. Mm -hmm. But you know, the, the 
all dark man, but you notice that he has a hat on, completely black, no facial features, a black man with a hat. Yeah, it gets confused with Slenderman a lot. It's not the same thing. In, in my opinion, it's not the same thing. Slenderman has always been different for me. Totally different. You know what my theory is on Slenderman? Probably. Do you, okay, because I do believe enough energy can create a being. It can oh, create yes. a situation. And I think that this is a story that had gotten shared and spread it so strongly that it was actually created. It sounds like what people would call an egregore. Egregore? Egregore. I've heard it's like a thought form that just yeah, springs it gets, to life. It gets stronger and stronger the more that people put into it, the more time that gets put into it, more energy that gets put into it. Well, it's just like if you say something and then that, if you think about somebody and then they text you or call you, you know, you're putting that into the atmosphere, the universe, whatever, and then there it is. I mean, I had beings that I created whenever I was more on the not so nice side of my path many, many years ago, many, many years ago. And it was almost impossible to be rid of them, but they were created from my energy, like my, my, my stuff. Yeah. Well, that's kind of like, um, what are they called? Not Sentinels. Um, Servitor. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cause Adrian will always have his. Yeah. That's just, and, and, but that's like, you know, I don't know if y'all remember, but some older, older videos when we still lived, the first house we lived in Garland when my kids were little, the lady that had the hat with the black veil was actually in one of my videos on the side, standing by my closet. And everybody's seen it. And then one time my orange cat was on the bed behind me and you see him get flipped. It's in some of the older, older videos. When I was, when, when I was young, <laughs> like go back like, you know, Nine, ten years, and it's in those videos. Wait, your original channel or the? It's on. It's on this. It's on it's, Lady Grave Dancer. Yeah. Transferred everything. Yeah. Okay. But it's like old, old, really okay. old stuff. To go back to the old ones. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. That's when he was a baby. Oh. Um, somebody said, um, "Absolutely, we create what we think." Energy. Look up William. Oh, thank you. I'm like this. My glasses are sitting right here. Like next I know. Time. I'm the same, same, <laughs> same damn thing. I don't know how I'm going to get used to wearing actual glasses. All right. William Reich Orgon. Do you see the Slender Man thing actually resulted? Um, where, yeah, thank you. You are right with me. We are on the same page. Okay. Where did... Slender Man thing actually was. I have watched some some things on like real crime and true crime stuff of people who are saying the Slender Man told them to kill somebody, and like they're dead serious about it. Like, and like there was two little girls who also said that the Slender Man had them kill this other girl, and like they never changed their story. Like as I'm saying, the more energy that gets put into this, like. I mean, I don't, I don't doubt that it, it could be created, and I like even the stuff, like the literal stuff of nightmares. Like people have a nightmare, and you have some nightmares, or even regular dreams, you just can't let go of. It's just kind of Native Pagan said that it happened in uh, Wisconsin. Here in Wisconsin, mm -hmm. I feel like everything happens in Wisconsin. You all get all kinds of sightings of things. Pretty awesome, huh? Got some good cheese out there too. <laughs> oh, I knew somebody. Was there. <laughs> See, William proved positive energy flows away from the body and negative flows straight toward the body inward. Okay. I mean, I, I believe that. I I know nowadays I'm more of the positive type person, a more of a positive type practitioner, but the. Negative energy is very addictive, and that's what I used to practice. And it was extremely easy to use, way easier to use what I use now, and extremely addictive. Um, 
I was this why I can't be in charge of nothing. I was reading. Um, no, I'm just like, wait, okay, it's over here now. <laughs> Where's it going? Um, I was gonna say, like, I lost it. ADD's kicking in. No, what was I gonna say? Shoot, you know what this is just a character in a game and nothing more. What? And that's okay for you to feel that way. It really is. Where did that come from? It's up there. Oh, I say purple moon. And I, I don't judge you for feeling that way. I mean, everybody's got their own opinions. But I mean, this is like cauldron of conspiracies. Yeah. So what we're talking about here, everything is possible here. Yeah, I remember my first like uh, recollection of what Spider uh, Spider Man, <laughs> Wow, Slender Man was <laughs> was that was the video game that you had to go through the forest and find these pieces of paper blah 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 and it wasn't until after I was like oh this is actually a real thing that people kind of you know have seen I didn't know anything about any of those oh stop I'm sorry that's what happens when I sit down for five minutes when the boys were little like eight, nine, Slenderman was just gaining popularity. Like it was everywhere. They were talking about it. Kids at school were talking about it. And there was apparently a movie a couple years later. So I don't know how they even, because that movie I feel like didn't come out for several years later. So I'm not sure where they got it from. Adrian, are you still down here? I'm reading what Trina sent me because she is clearly not going to come on here. I noticed she disappeared out of the comments. She disappeared, man. yeah. Now she's gone. Um, so it says, Slenderman be looking like a rape, though. <laughs> yeah, Slenderman was a creepy pasta. Yeah. I, Adrian don't want to talk. He's in there but there's, there's several of those stories that you will you will start. Like, they're, they're being given so much life through time and through history. And that's just the most current one that I can think of off the top of my head. But there's a lot of that through history that, that has happened. Like, you think about the Lady of the Lake. Everybody has a Lady of the Lake in their town, right? I was thinking about that in my head. I was just thinking. Oh it's just like the Lady we of the Lake. are literally right here today. We are right here. So you can think about it like this. Either somebody drowns in everybody's lake, or this is something that we're also creating that energy because everybody has one. You don't go anywhere that they don't have a Lady of the Lake. Or a Mothman. Or a Mothman. See, I'm right there with you. Because we have a Mothman here. He's called the Gray Man, but it's the same thing as the Mothman. I've never come across either. What? Did you no. did you watch the Mothman prophecies? You know how hard that is to say with the list? I remember. <laughs> I'm very curious. What is Crybaby Bridge? I don't know nothing about a Crybaby Bridge. Uh, there was a road in Alabama that if you we're traveling at a certain time at night, you know, anytime after midnight on this road with no lights, it's a two way highway, two lane, two, two way highway, two lane, whatever that you, you would see a baby or hear a baby cry. Yeah. Like a mile. Well, there, there's, there's like one of those in every town you go to also where like babies or children will leave handprints behind on your car. Like you hear in different, in different states, you know, and it's like you put enough energy into this, enough people will visit these spots with those intentions and that energy, you can definitely create something that comes to you and feels like it's exactly what that is. Have you all ever seen those videos of those random staircases in the middle of the woods? Yes. Have you ever come across them? Because I have. Um, foundations, not... I have come across strange foundations. Stairs. Foundations, yeah. Stairs. Or like or like abandoned wells. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which are creepy to, just in general. Did you know how many animals probably crawl up in that thing and fall? Yeah. How many snakes oh, are in the bottom of that shit? That's terrible. That's how many terrible. squirrels are at the bottom of that okay. thing? <laughs> well, squirrels <laughs> yeah. Rolling. <laughs> I had to. I just not tonight. Not tonight. <laughs> I was almost sent you a thing the other day. It was a, one of them little red squirrels that was trying to square up. Like he was trying to square up on somebody. It was funny. But I didn't. I, I have it. a picture of a fat ass squirrel trying to eat an avocado. 
<laughs> this is not in caps, but I'm starting to read the ones that aren't in caps. And Julie B says, OG is supposedly a woman who killed her baby and herself. And that kind of goes like with the, um, you know, you find that everywhere. Yeah. So we have a beast railroad here in Wisconsin, and it's a werewolf. We need to go. Literally, and you know, Nina Souls has her shop there anyway. So, like, we need to like go and visit. Yeah. We need to make in Wisconsin. I had this book called Weird Florida, and it shows all like the scary weird facts about Florida. And um, yeah, and there's two that I remember. It's one about this little girl spirit that lives in the back of the woods, and you go and you go back there in the middle of the night, and you come home, and she'll follow you back home, and she'll give you nightmares. And then there's another one where there was this. Um, principal at the school that whenever a bad child gets sent to him they would never come back um, and they opened up his office and there was a meat locker ooh. in the back of his office and, was, oh, I'm sorry. and they were all hanging there somebody said that the picture behind them freaked them out look at the hands hanging out the wall too yeah when I said little girl you were like <laughs> is she pretty yes I have all my zombie posters up in here. A little obsessed. And also, oh, yeah. Oh yeah. So Sarah has started popping into her. Yeah. Yeah. When I looked at it, I was like, is that Sarah? That doesn't look like Sarah. Yeah. She started popping out over here into her. So we had to keep her where she could face the door because that's where she wanted to be. She still have her necklace? Yeah, on her on her Sarah doll. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. We've had this doll for a couple years. Never did that before. Yeah. yeah. Oh, when we first bought our home had something else that popped in and it popped out like really quickly and didn't take long. And then it's been empty for a couple of years. And just here recently, Sarah has been popping in. I wasn't sure it was her at first. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Like I immediately knew. I was like, oh, that's different. Yeah. Her, yeah. I was like, her facial features have even changed. Yeah. 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 I was like, is that is that Sarah? I don't like, like her. I'm no offense, Sarah. I don't like that embodiment of you. <laughs> that one actually gives me the creeps. Oh my god. Her eyes look deeper. Yeah. Her eyes are black on my end, bro. Like. No, they look deeper than they were Aww. before. Yeah. I see. It, it looks kind of <laughs> looks kind of blue. There you go. But she likes to face the front door, so that's where she's doing. You better keep her facing the front door. <laughs> she's facing the front door. <laughs> you better keep her happy. These bro. are like the best movies. Like a lot of people have not even seen. The Night of the Creeps. Like, so disappointing. It's on Shutter as a regular, or it was anyway. I got rid of Shutter last year. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, we're back to. Uh, I apologize for taking over. We didn't even do spirit talk. We got 15 minutes. Let's jump into spirits. Well, we kind of have yes. been. Yeah, that's been talking on both of them. There was a comment from someone about Julie Harris said, do you also think that science has created new forms of animal creation and has released them? Absolutely. I don't know if y'all seen that video where we found that skin outside the property here that had a cat tail and it had duck fins. I mean, duck feet, duck paddles. Like I did, I showed it in a video. Yeah, that was kind of, that was beyond strange. That was really weird. You know what? It, my brain, when I, when that came up, I was like, "What in the taxidermy hell is going on in Texas?" Because that was some strange stuff. What is, what is happening back here? What's happening back here? <laughs> I do. Think Someone's got a lot of time on their hands. I do believe, and I do believe that they're releasing them out as well. Mm -hmm. I have heard New Mexico has a lot of crazy stuff going on. Mm -hmm. The celestial forest. It's not in caps, but it's just more of a statement than a question. Uh, is there any questions? Do y'all want to talk about anything specific? Don't, d isn't Roswell in New Mexico? Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Roswell in New Mexico. Yeah. 
called Death Hill. Angel said so hi, Sarah. She said hi, and yeah, she is. Since we moved out here, she was not happy at all. So for the fact that she recently, in the last couple of days or so, she's come into this doll, it makes me happy because we've been here for a little over a year, and she's been completely miserable out here. So, it's hard. Yeah, it's rough on spirits. Change is hard. Yeah, but she, she's doing better. Have you had any hitchhikers lately? Any more? Not since um, that one morning when I spoke to you and when I was like, there's something in the back seat. Do you see it? And then whenever I was leaving for work that day, the tall shadow dude that was on the outside of the fence. That's why it's so important to have iron on your property because it'll keep that stuff out. And Rosemary, like, it is like such a good repellent. That's that's the one herb I'm lacking right now is rosemary. I don't have a rosemary. Back bag. in the old, old, old times, and sometimes you'll still see it now, graveyards were, their fences were made of iron, and rosemary was put around it to keep the spirits into the cemetery. Which means in my brain, that's the way that practice. Who, who, who's playing video games? Oh, um, it's Alan playing Elden Ring. Oh, He's okay. obsessed. I mean, obsessed. Elden Ring. Oh, okay, I've seen that. Yeah, he, 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 there is a lot of people moving to Texas. We are averaging averaging three thousand new people moving to Texas a week. Yes, why? and it's driving our, our <laughs> why to Texas prices all the way up. What do you mean, why? No, not that. Don't, don't come at me. Let me rephrase. Not why is in why Texas. But why is it like, why are these people moving in droves out of where the hell ever they're from? Why are these? They're doing that down here too. You just gotta click the link. Oh, the I've shoes. met so many Georgia influx people from Georgia moving to South Carolina that it is unreal. And New Jersey and New York. It's like. It's because so down weird. here in the South, prices are better than up there. And now they're coming down here and they're driving our prices up. I got a lot of New York people, a lot of Chicago people, a lot of Canadians down here. <laughs> Julie B is not moving to Texas. <laughs> you are more than welcome to visit Texas. Um, why is... Um, this she doesn't have a link. I gave her the link. No, mate, you need to do it on the book face. On the book face? Yeah, I'll put it in the comments. Okay, but it's the, that was like 1,500 comments ago. Okay, I'm going to send it directly to her. Look, it's going to be a lot better here once we, we roll that guy off of a cliff. cliff and we don't have to deal with him no more. Things will be so much better. Trust me. It's going to be better. I mean, you know, better-ish. <laughs> Yeah, anywhere <laughs> can only go up from here. That's all I can say. Yeah, because these gas prices got me a little nervous, dude. Like, what? I came back from visiting Gabby in California, right? I come back to gas being four dollars a gallon. I'm like, what? I was gone four days. Yeah, wow. oh. <laughs> people <laughs> were acting ridiculous about this gas, man. <sighs> like, it's not, I remember it being now, I was in. Georgia and we were living in Fayetteville or I was working in Fayetteville and we were living out in Hampton and gas in 2008 it shot up to over five dollars a gallon and I was like okay we haven't, we haven't ever got there God. now like years ago we hit the four dollars and but we were going from like two bucks to four bucks so it was a huge thing and it was just like that summer mm -hmm. and we've been staying pretty decent but this, it is a lot, especially, you know, especially when you look at how much people, an average person makes for a living, you know, it's like, that's too much. Yeah. Too people got to survive and people are having fits about it because if you have a single mom that needs to drive to work, she's the only one working and she's got to pay more money for gas than she can buy groceries. It doesn't make any sense. So people are upset about it. Oh yeah, they should be. Yeah. And, and there's ways to get that to come down. We're not talk about that today. Oh yeah. <laughs> Stop <laughs> fucking starting wars. Whew. Let's change the title. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Oh, Moon Gypsy is in East Texas. Whereabouts? Whereabouts in East Texas are you? And if y'all wonder what that means, whereabouts, I'm asking her like where she's located in Texas. The location. <laughs> where y'all from around there? Here is Trina, because I just sent her the link. <laughs> I was talking to my grandma on the way to work this morning, right? She's, I, I have to go make a, a quilt with her, and I don't have a choice about it. I don't know how to do a sewing machine, and her country accent is very strong and she and she's like well she and they call me tinky nobody laughs she says well tinky all you gotta do is learn how to make it go for for forwards and backwards <laughs> yeah she wants to make it go forwards and backwards forwards and backwards <laughs> it's gotta go back and forth so cute <laughs> oh it sounds God. like she's still got a trundle or a trundle trundle the did you did you did you did you did so on the one with the pedal the sewing right. machine pedal yeah so has anyone ever visited the house of Winchester? I have not. I have not, but I've always wanted to. Mm -hmm. After I like get my shit together. Because I'm not going in that motherfucker without being some kind of something. There's a lot of places that I, I want to go in. I will one day after I'm done raising children. When is that? Corpus Christi. We are in um Close to Greenville, Texas. That's where we're at. I want to go Selena, go Salinas. see Selena's mon Salinas. monument. Yeah, Selena's mm -hmm. monument. Selena. La Miradora de Flor. I can't say no that. <laughs> the Purple Moon is from Athens, Texas. We got quite a few people here from Texas. Real close. Someone is real close to Shreveport. Gabby yes, yes. here. Gabby is way up yonder, up in California. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my Florida people is that? At home. Let's see. Yeah, there's quite a few people here from Texas. <laughs> the Biltmore, I have always wanted to go to the Biltmore. It's yeah. a huge mansion-y thing, castle thing in North Carolina. There's a castle, and I haven't actually been to it. I've been to it, not in it. There's a castle in Kentucky. Kentucky? Kentucky. Kentucky. There's, there's a gallbladder. Yeah, we need to make a visit to every like places where we know people and go visit their haunted spots. See, Gabby used to live in New Mexico, mm -hmm. and it would have been nice to know about those places when she lived over there. She told me about, I think she called it the Yellow House. Correct me if I'm wrong, Gabby, if you're still watching. I think you call it the Yellow House. They're actually going to make a movie about it. <gasps> Sunshine is here and showing her face. Oh my God. Hello. Aww. How are you? Look, y'all. Sunshine, sunshine, Look. sunshine, yeah. sun. We need words of wisdom. Uh oh. <laughs> Go. Uh, I can't believe it. Yeah. Oh, quit it already. <laughs> yeah, so it was called the Yellow House. I'm going to have to look that up so we can talk about it another time. It's the Yeller House. It's the Yeller House. Yeah. Yellow. So you're going you're gonna to bring some knowledge to us about the man in the hat? Is that what it was called? It's it's the hat man. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's yeah. See. It's the hat man. So so every uh, I'm sure everybody has heard about uh, succubuses and incubuses. How when you're asleep you go through uh, possible sleep paralysis where you you're awake but you can't move Ugh. and supposedly the succubus or incubus has come to you to either steal semen or to impregnate you. Right. Well, the hat man is similar to that and usually seen when it's the same type of sleep paralysis. You can see him, but he prefers to terrorize and suffocate. And I believe it was in the 1950s or 1960s someplace in Africa, he was blamed or responsible for the death of over 150 young men who wow. died in their sleep. Okay. That's what? pretty amazing. Yeah. How have I not heard of this before? That is strange. <laughs> 150 men? Yeah. Well, was it come just to like find a... out that... that, that there was a hereditary thing going on in that area where um, most of the men had, and I can't remember what the disease is, but it has to do with um, uh, a heart condition. 
But still, how does everybody report seeing this this hat man and then you die? <laughs> or if you have that heart condition, is it the hat man that's maybe scaring you to death? Yeah, exactly. Or is a conspiracy and a spirit talk in one? There you go. There you go. So the hat man is supposed to be, and and yes, I suppose the Slenderman is, is kind of the same, but the hat man comes to you when you're sleeping at night and he's in your house and he has no facial features or anything like that. He's more of a, almost a black hole shadow. And the only thing that you can really make out on him is it looks like he's wearing a trench coat and a wide brimmed hat and he's t totally black like a like yeah. a complete shadow yeah and like we, we've all seen something similar to that but i've not been suffocate i guess because i don't have the the semen no <laughs> don't have the semen. and this is a good thing <laughs> i'm just playing no but uh... it's, it's, it's crazy because i got <laughs> hospital men and you know jose has been held down before in his sleep before like Is the semen I'm not sure. Well, I, I find it very I find it very interesting that there are so many different cultures across so I mean going way back that all have the same sort of creature or or like an incubus or a succubus, only it's called something different. Mm -hmm. They all have the same sort of creature going I don't know how far back yet for some reason we don't really do any research on that. We want to blow it off as a, a brain tick that is just causing your um, uh, sleep habits to glitch, mm -hmm. I, I guess is what the medical profession is calling it, which is possible. I agree. But how the hell do thousands of people see the same thing mm -hmm. I, that I don't get. I mean, if you're going to have a brain glitch, you know, with one of your dreams, why is everybody seeing this same being? And, and, you know, it's very, it, it could very well be that the government knows this, just like they know more about alien activity than they tell us. And they just give us just enough to make us calm down, you know, and they may be covering it up. Like, like you said, how does thousands of people see the same thing? Collective consciousness, hive mind mentality, which goes to the simulation theory. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is the scariest. Shit. Okay, I don't know what happened, but Rowan needed to cleanse herself. <laughs> <laughs> you see him over the Oh, nope, I'm the only man here. We are not doing this to my semen. We are not taking my semen. <laughs> I you don't know, play with demons. That image, like the first thing I thought of when you described his image was the plague doctor. Because he always wore that duster and then the wide brim hat, but this distinctive difference is the big mask. Or the plague big, mask. Yeah. yeah. But like that's instantly what came to mind. I was like, oh, you know. It's not we we'll him either, you know. Well, and, and here, you know, just to creep you out a little bit more. What people usually describe is they wake up, they're going through sleep paralysis, you can't move, you mm -hmm. can't talk because your vocal cords are also paralyzed. All you can do is look around. And if you can look, say, to the foot of your bed or to your bedroom doorway and you see somebody standing there and you can't move and you can't scream. That right there is enough just to like scare the fuck out of me. Yes. Which calls you, I mean, but to know, but then to know that he likes to come into your room, he likes to climb on your bed, and he likes to try to suffocate you. Yeah. And nice. if you can't move, I mean, even if it is a brain glitch and you're going through uh, uh, wh where you have your uh, dream paralysis has set in and it's it's glitching for some reason, but then you have that, that sensation of suffocating. That's scarier than hell. That just, that. It I is. have a heart attack. 
Literally. I've <laughs> had sleep paralysis many a times and I don't like it. <laughs> I've only had it the one time, thank God. One time. And that was enough. I've had it like three or four times. Yeah, no, there was some spirits I had to stop working with because they were messing with my husband and sometimes he didn't hear the woman laughing. So it just makes you wonder, doesn't it? Mm. Could it have been something else? You know, the kid Junior has always seen the dark man in a hat since he was like two years old, like little bitty thing. Always. Always. Never changed his story up through the years when he would see him. It was it was it would never change. See, that's what made me think of that, because I know that Junior has seen it before. Mm -hmm. And I when when you first told me about that, I did some research into it. That's how I was like. Holy shit, this 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 thing is actually being held accountable for death yeah, in she Africa. Sent, she sent a lot article, of death. So you can actually look it up because she sent me a whole article on it. So for those of you who haven't heard about it, um, maybe you can look it up. I know a lot of times like things that can't be explained get put to a place of unexplainable anomalies because you have to have like at some point you have to blame something when especially it's more than two, you know, 150 people dying of the same thing in in one area. That's a little freaky. That's a little freaky. Yeah. Cause like it's, even 150 people in the lot. same area in a small area having the same heart problem that would lead to being frightened to death in sleep. Yeah. is still super rare. But if there's a hereditary problem going on, especially if it's just in that area, you don't have a buttload of sudden deaths and then yeah. it just dies off. Right. You have a continuation. It's in the medical field. It's a, it's a continuation line. When you have something hereditary that is going through a society or something, it, it, it may peak and then may come back down, but you still have, you know, uh, offspring that still have that hereditary issue. You still have people dying from those issues where this was a, it, it peaked and then it dropped and then it stopped. Mm -hmm. Really strange. Yeah. I, I agree with that. Like it would, there would still be a, like she said, a continuation yeah. of it. That, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. It was just their way of covering it up and see that just tells you it was covered up. You know what I mean? And I might just be bringing my conspiracies in here. No, but they cover up everything. Yeah. Can't trust them. They have to. I'm sorry, society, that is my Italian when my fingers Society are is not adept to be able to accept the unknowns like that, unfortunately. I know everybody thinks that, oh, if they would just tell us that there's aliens out there, we would be okay. Yes, well, yes. you might be okay, and I might be okay, but the psychotic people out there who would not be okay could really wreak havoc on the rest of the world. <laughs> it's and true. Oh my goodness. Look at your eyes. Look at your eyes. <laughs> I'm just waiting on it. I'm just waiting for that big chunk of knowledge to drop and everybody flip the fuck out. Because it hadn't happened yet, but it's coming. They keep playing with us and teasing us with little nuggets of truth here and there. Mm -hmm. But when the big one drops, I'm going to be like, <laughs> who's crazy now, bitch? Yeah. <laughs> Ready. I love know. those I told you so moments. It's not Paige. Man, that that's I'm gonna have to do some more research into that because like I said, Junior has been sorry. It's not me. It's not me. Junior says sunshine. It's not me. But um because Junior, like I said, his story has never changed with that. Since he was little, so when you have something traumatic like that, ha like that, that is your truth, you know, regardless of what you find out later, that was your truth at the moment, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. kind of own that, that's valid. Okay. Someone, okay, okay, so we got some, uh, we got Trina here, y'all, so let, let's go. We got here <laughs> for two minutes before we pop off. Like, we probably won't see her again for Lord knows how long. So let's go. And, and because of the way I'm doing this, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I can barely hear y'all, but I can't see the chat or anything anymore. So. Oh, shoot. Well, she'll, well, she'll read it to you. We're, we're about done anyway. 
we're trying to keep it close to an hour. It says, so Raven Angel said, there are people out there who are going to freak out and make it bad for us. You know, you could say the same thing though, like with, like with COVID hitting, like with this war happening over there. I mean, anything is gonna set somebody off. Things we could even, we could handle a fucking virus. What makes you think we're gonna be able to handle aliens from other planets? Because they're gonna <laughs> take us back home. <laughs> oh man, I've adjusted to this plane. I ain't leaving. <laughs> we need to join the paper overload. Come on, people. You can handle knowing that there's aliens coming now. Holy shit. <laughs> but wasn't it again that Megan had said because you popped it off the screen before I could see it? Oh, one of them, I hit the wrong one at first. One was just like a statement. Oh, okay. Actually, I think they were both statements. Um, uh, it was like, dang, something just touched me. It usually doesn't scare me, but that did. Because of all the things that we're discussing right now, everybody's gonna have night lights on tonight. <laughs> I keep, I keep a lamp on twenty four seven. So they're like, they're gonna have their lights on on their phone. Like, there's not gonna be no dark man coming down the hallway tonight. <laughs> well, dark man's gonna get lit the fuck up. There you go, Sherry. You know he's real. You know he is. My husband knew 100%. You could not convince him otherwise. Bigfoot is fucking real. And that's that's all there is to it. And the Yeti is his cousin. Yep. And the swamp ape is his grandma. <laughs> <laughs> that swamp ape. Great yeah. babe. I better never see a freaking swamp ape. The Florida swamp ape. I'm telling you. He's in the yeah, Everglades. I haven't heard of it until Ron told so us. But like we were saying, every state or city has their story that kind of is like someone else's they may call it something else and then but you tell the story and you're like oh that's so-and-so over here in you know d-town or something yeah well, we've got the the railroad tracks here here tequila the if you put your car in park on one or stop on one side of the railroad tracks and put your car in neutral the children that were killed in the bus on that railroad track they'll push you up the hill and over the railroad track Every time they do it to my car, every time. No, hold on a second. Okay. Now that really pisses me off because I was at your house for a week and you didn't take me to get pushed. You oh. just snitched on yourself. <laughs> Is Bex watching? Bex, are you watching? Do you hear this? <laughs> I haven't seen Bex in here, but she's going to watch. <laughs> oh my God. Wait. Ooh, I am going to tell you. Okay. It. Okay. In my defense, um, I have kind of gone into like overload permit mode and I really don't go anywhere or talk to anybody you guys me coming on and doing this tonight is only because I took drugs <laughs> yay drugs <laughs> <laughs> yay drugs okay. I took drugs and I started reading one of my new books and it just had me like oh my god really I I'm gonna need to take some drugs a page out of it it literally says if you're it says if your children are teething to slaughter a rabbit, cut its brain out, boil the brain, and then rub the brain on the child's gums, and their teeth won't hurt. Coming in won't hurt anymore. What? Oh yeah, my mom used to do that. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> I wait, sent what you, you the page to keep look in your. What are you reading? <laughs> it's it's called okay. It's called Pow Wow by John Hoffman, and it was written hundreds long long time ago and it's got um it's the long lost friend and it's got spells and um little incantations oh and just just That's little good. things all throughout the book so yeah Boil the brain of the rabbit and rub the gums of the children with it and their teeth will grow without pain let me just tell you, by the time you're done slaughtering their rabbit and boiling it, uh, cracking its skull and taking that skull and scooping it out and putting it in the thing to boil it, your child has learned to shut the fuck up about it. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no way I'm going to cry no more. <laughs> so um, Mystical Love and Light was asking earlier, I just want to do this before we pop out, if we've ever heard of the um, Blue Hat Man. And then she said, I'm tired of hearing about this hat man. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's a picture that she sent. Me. I'm not looking. <laughs> Look at it, Rowan. I'm not looking Let at me, this shit. There's a glare. There I we can't. go. Is it a sailor's hat? 
I can't tell. Oh my God, I'm blind. I'm I can't blind. hardly tell either. And I have my glasses on. <laughs> Wait, maybe if I turn my phone. I like this is oh head. my God, that made me bigger. Oh, fuck. I'm not looking. Dude, look at that. Oh, Wait, isn't that pretty? <laughs> All right. Look. What? What? Oh. You know, I I can just forward it to you guys, but look. Oh, I can see. I, yeah, I can't see it. All. See? No. So, what is he supposed to be? I guess similar to um, the the black cat man. The black cat man. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> what? She hasn't told me anymore yet. Apologize. On the next episode of <laughs> Call of the Conspiracies, the blue hat man, <laughs> the men with hats <laughs> that haunt your dreams. Nope, I rebuke it in the name. Rowan, you see, Rowan, you see what Irish said? Keep your semen shut. <laughs> oh, oh, ah. oh. That's the problem. It's been like that forever. <laughs> He's like, it's been turned off for a minute. <laughs> oh, I ain't looking at shit, bro. He's <laughs> <laughs> gonna get up and start cleansing again. Y'all have y'all been watching how many times he has cleansed himself in the background tonight? <laughs> Oh I got God. spirit after spirit. They all gonna be woken up tonight. Y'all ain't going to sleep. I'm going to sleep. Y'all gonna be awake. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm. Well, this is so much fun. I'm so glad that you decided to come on here. Same. Same. Yeah. Thank, Thank you for inviting next me. Week. Thank you for inviting me. Next week, we'll talk about the green kids of Whitworth. She's going to be back next week. You heard it right here. <laughs> okay, so what we'll do is next Thursday, we'll remind you to take your drugs. Yeah, I have to. And then Yeah, the doctor prescribed me something. He said that I was getting depressed. I said, getting depressed? Getting? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you were doing really good. Let me tell you what happened. What happened. <laughs> I think we're all somewhat depressed. I told Alex this today. I was like, oh, this will be good for you. You'll get your little, little depressed funk because he went to Georgia for a week. He was like, I'm not depressed. I was like, yes, the fuck you are. You don't go out of your room unless you got to pee or eat. You just sit all day. And he's like, that's not depression. That's me yes, it is. I know. Because I do. Yeah, it is. <laughs> when you don't want to get up and do anything, you don't want to talk to anybody, you don't want to see anybody, you don't want to get up, you don't want to eat, you don't want to do anything, yeah. but you're lonely. Yeah. But hey, you don't want to see anybody. <laughs> I mean, you can't hardly get her to answer the phone. Like, and, and she's better about answering texts nowadays than she used to be. It used to take a day or two. And now it's usually within the day that she'll respond. But yeah, that it's hard to get her on the phone. I'm I'm trying to get better at it. I really am. It's just that there's times like when somebody, when you, okay, I'm blind as a fucking black, bat, I, black, <laughs> bat. I cannot see anything without my glasses on. With my glasses on, I have to look through my bifocals. And if I happen to be having a teary cry day, I can't see shit. It's like trying to look through a swimming pool. Oh my goodness. So I can't text and I definitely can't talk. I so. understand that. I understand that hundred percent. And I think I'll speak for the rest of us. Well, we hate the, the fact that that is even a thing. Yeah. But it's you would thing. think by now that I would be getting a little bit better, but I don't no, no, I wouldn't think that at all. No, no, no. I would think that I maybe it's just me. I I don't. I, You're an Aries, right? Yeah, she's an Aries. Because I'm the same way. I would think I'd be blah blah blah, and here I am, puddle. Yeah. Things 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 should be changing. Something. <laughs> Give it another couple of years. You'll be all right. Okay. Yeah. More it's, drugs. It's better the it's better to let it all flow than just to suck it all in. You can't force nothing. It could the more you try to force recovery, the longer it takes to actually recover. Yeah. You no, know, I think what my problem was was I was trying too hard to hide it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Yep. When somebody would say, you doing okay? I would say, yeah. Or how you doing? I'm okay. Yeah. Bullshit. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. Not anymore. I'm not lying anymore. So my boss has quit asking me when he comes in in the morning. <laughs> he doesn't say how, how was your weekend or how was last night or how you doing? And he's afraid to ask me now. Well, I mean, don't ask a question if you don't want to hear the truth. Right. That's what I told them. Yeah. But people inevitably will want to hope better for somebody else, unless you're an absolute asshole. Hope better for that other person. You know, like, you know, the situation is dire, but you still are like looking for that grain of hope, you know, and that other part, like, they're going to be okay. But in reality, it's like, just leave me the fuck alone. Let me accept my fate right now. Like, just leave me the fuck alone. I don't want to be. And I love that everybody, you know, is, 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 so many people have reached out, you know, if you need somebody to talk to, or if you just want to, you know, if you just want a shoulder to cry on or, you know, you know, offering kind words and stuff. And, and I don't get me wrong. I appreciate, I appreciate it. Like you wouldn't believe, but it doesn't it, work. No, I, cause th there is no amount of talking, crying or shoulder leaning that is going to bring back or fix the situation. I've turned into a bummer. See, now I went and done it on these shows. Stop it. What are we talking about next time? You, you, you did not bum out nothing. What are you even no. talking about? Look, I, just, I went into this a little weird because I was like, I don't know what to do. I'm not, I don't know what to do. I don't, so it got real awkward in the first 10 minutes of this show. And then it was like, okay. But the first couple of minutes was like, oh, I'm reading. Yeah. I don't know what to do. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. Yeah. yeah, all that. And people are um, in here. Uh, I think I remember Kellyanne Maddox. I've, didn't she do a lot of like stuff with cards, like tarot? Yeah. yeah. Someone just said that her brother passed. Oh. Mm. A lot oh, of people no. passed this year. It's kind of just upsetting. Yeah, oh, the first no. year of COVID, I lost several people, and then it kind of was okay in 2021. But this year, it's like a resurgence of people around me, like just kicking the bucket for no reason. Obviously, there's a reason. I didn't mean to say that, but like it just happens. It like, comes in waves, man. It's horrible. But the chubacabra, we haven't talked about the chubacabra. It's a mangy it's dog. Listen, <laughs> Listen. Not if you're in the state of Texas, it ain't. <laughs> yeah. Get it, get it, get it right, and you, you pronounce Bucky's correctly too. If you're gonna be up in here, okay. Boosies. <laughs> I like going. To, I'm, I've never been to Boosies. Boosies, it's Boosies. I'm ready to go open my gun safe. I'm not even playing with y'all. <laughs> together, okay. <laughs> well, let's leave on a uh, Lola. Oh, Irish has got a Lola. Oh. I'm gonna go to Boochie one day. How do you say this thing? La Yorona. What? Who? La Yorona. La Yorona. 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 La Yorona. See, so are are you writing this down? Okay, she's gonna talk about green people. The green children. Green children. <laughs> green children. Someone is asking about. Somebody green. needs to tell me what the hell this word means. Conflagration, conflagration, C O N F L A G R A T I O N. Conflagration. Conflagration. If you don't know what makes you think. Well, see, that's the problem with this. That's the problem with this book, okay? Because this book was originally written in like the 14th, 15th, or 16th century. Some of the words in here are from back then. <laughs> I wasn't alive then. I'm old, but I wasn't alive then. I mean, there's things in here like against malign witchcraft to prevent witches from bewitching cattle. Huh? To do what? More I'm going to take notes on my phone because there's so many good suggestions coming over here across I'm the I'm writing them down. I got a list. That's such a powerful insult. Like, oh, fuck you. Oh, I, a curse on your cow. Like, I love that. I, I, yeah, I don't understand that. Why, why would witches yeah. curse cattle? Well, back then, that's your milk, that's your cheese, that's your butter, that's your meat. It's all yeah, your it really affect your whole family. 
And you go through the whole thing, and then it says, this will certainly protect and free all persons and animals from witchcraft. We don't need protection. We are yeah, this is, this is, I, it's, a, it's an old read, but it's interesting. That does sound interesting, and I think I would be entertained by it, honestly. As long as you have a authority. You said green children. Green children. <laughs> okay. Uh, and the, I saw children, someone, Barbara, the green, I put people, you put children, and yeah. I put Trina beside that one. Green children, we can talk about spontaneous combustion. No, that's oh. boring. I love that. Oh. That's yes. Hi, Spawn. <laughs> Yes. yes. Okay. Question. And then I'm looking up to see if there's uh, anything else. Oh, An expensive fire. Oh, expensive fire. Oh. Expensive. <laughs> Very expensive. That's <laughs> a lot of wood. Farrah Floyd wants to know the name of that book. Pow Wow. Oh, it's okay. Well, it, it it's a it's a very old book by um, John. Uh, excuse me, John George Hoffman. It's called Pow Wows or the Long Lost Friend. Oh, let's see here. Let's see if right. I can glare off of it. It would be a fun read. Is it in any any Native American to it? No, none at all. <laughs> Why is that powwow on the thing? Yeah, it's it's powwows. It did and it's, rabbits too, like it did because it, because when you interpret the verbiage powwows from back then, it actually meant uh, the hidden friend. That's no. what powwow means. That may, that makes sense. See. Trina's the encyclopedias that we need with us. Exactly. What? Encyclopedia no. of Tritanica. Yes. I've always said that. Yes. Yeah. No. So I got a good list going here of stuff that people um, are saying here. I'm, okay. I'm going to look up this green children situation because I've not heard of that, but I can recall. Telepath okay. So, so this is going to be back around the same time when this book was written. And I believe it was in England back when knights were um, considered more or less like police officers. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the village people found a little girl and little boy, uh, roughly they say around the ages of five and six. And literally these children were out in a field and their skin was Kermit the Frog green. They thought that they had found fairy folk. Oh my goodness. Now this is supposed to be a true story. So if you want to go, go from there, um, go back and do your research and then we can talk about it. What happened to the children and everything, mm -hmm. where they came from. They didn't even speak English. They, they, they couldn't even communicate. They, they spoke in a language that nobody was able to understand. Wow. That's interesting. I know that they're, they're, they weren't green. They were like a blue tint, bluish purple, but it was because of a mineral in the area or something. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. talking about? Yeah. yeah. And, and of course you've got scholars now that when they talk about the green children, they think it's the, possibly the same thing. Of course it could be, um, and I don't want to give away anything, but, but, um, they never, because of the time they were never actually able to say exactly what was going on with the, the kids. But as the girl got older, so they say, um, like in England or in Europe that, uh, fairy folk, um, especially the feminine side are supposed to be able to um, while a man. Okay. Uh, they're supposed to be able to, if they want to, they can be seductive. And when this little girl grew up, she was known to be very attractive, very. So they oh. think that, and after she was able to learn English and communicate where she came from, they honestly thought that they had two fairy children. Wow. So do some do some search. I'm doing some search. I just was 
I was looking at one of the comments and I was trying to tell April to look and someone said blue people of Kentucky. Yes. I'm so sick of There was blue people colors. in Minnesota too. <laughs> what was his name? As a matter of fact, he married a, he was blue tinted, married a white woman. They had five children. Three of them were, had blue tinted <laughs> skin. Two of them didn't. And they had offspring and all of their offspring ended up having blue tinted women. But if I'm not mistaken, they found out that um, they had a her hereditary heart issue that caused an ir irregular, irregular circulation of oxygen in their blood. And once they were treated, the blue tint went away. Yeah. Okay. See that that's not fun. I mean, I think <laughs> Health-wise, they probably did the right thing, but other, other, it's like that's kind of amazing what the body can do to itself. Yeah, it's about it. It's kind of like out of this world, literally. Okay. Well, the not... same thing will happen if you're one of those backwooded people, like my ancestors, that used to think that uh, taking mercury mm. for illnesses was okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. That will also tint your eyes and your skin. Yeah, yeah. I've seen that. I've, I've seen that. Man, okay. Well, we got some good stuff coming. We got some researches to do. Yeah, I'll be more prepared next week. <laughs> hmm, I'm willing to put that dollar on that. <laughs> I'll do some checking into that dollar bill thing, though. But yes, it's Roman numerals, and it's 1776. When the dollar back of the dollar bill, the the actual the way it looks wasn't even created until 1935. Okay, who the hell? came up with the design in 1935 for the back of our current dollar bill. Where did he get those or she get those images from or why were those images chosen? Was he Illuminati? Was he Masonic? I bet we're going to find out they were. And they're trying to either tell us something or hide something or hide something to tell us something. Actually, yep. But I think the Roman numerals are just to commemorate the 1776, the, the, yeah. I don't think that has a whole lot of meaning. The, the uh, eye and the pyramid and um, even all the way down to the number of pillars on the building. Um, there's all kinds of things that you can nitpick on the back of a dollar bill that supposedly have conspiracies to it. I'm taking this one. Uh, I live in a city that was founded pre-1776, which I've always found interesting. So Georgetown was um, founded in 1729, but they didn't gain entry into the official port records till 1732. So we yep. have buildings downtown that predate the founding of this country. They're so cool looking. I mean, they look old, but they're still cool. I think Rowan. Rowan, are you awake? Yeah, I'm awake. Are you sure, hon? Yeah, I'm looking. I'm just listening. He's thinking about the next cleanse he's about to do before he goes to bed. <laughs> <laughs> the Rowan's been up since 3 a.m. in the past morning, so. Uh oh. Then we probably need to get off. Oh, what happened to tequila? Oh, I, I didn't realize she was froze till I looked up. Wow, tequila. Sexy Thank you. face. That's a great shot. She's she's giving us a lip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's mm -hmm. almost doing duck lips. Look at that. <laughs> I should shut up. If I freeze, she'll take a picture of it, send it to me like <laughs> she does one other picture. Hold on, it's I'll like go. every two months she sends me this obnoxiously horrible picture of me that was taken like five years ago, and she laughs. Oh, oh she's went, gone. She she's I'm gone. Gonna... I'm going to go to you guys. Thank you for having me. We'll see you again next week. You've already said you committed to it. Okay, cool. You're just going to have to remind me. Will do. Will do. Okay. Good night, right. Ryan. Good night. Good night, night, night. April. Good night. <laughs> Good night, everybody. We'll see you next week. Thank you.